Rin, they seem to isolate pretty heavy. So, like, even if you were to get sick, or if, even if somebody was sick, they tend to, like, remove you from the situation really, really harshly quick. Which isn't a bad idea, it does prevent everybody from getting it. I, I'm somebody that gets sick really easily, because I've just got the, um, i got the compromised immune system from my fucking Crohn's. It's a auto, whoop, I don't have mana, give me that. It's an autoimmune disease, basically. So my body attacks itself more often than not. Like it could be food or it could just be like a little like sniffle or something happens and it just goes full ham. Um, which is a big problem. If I hang down here for a second, he's gonna come to me. She's gonna die over there though. Let's move back a little Ultima bit. See has been avenged. Oh did she kill him? Fucking way to go. Oh that looks awesome. A whole bunch of souls and shit just alleviated. A book of skill. I bet I don't have space for this shit. Let's move to separate building right away. I yeah, I, I do think that that's kind of a good practice though. To kind of like remove you from it just in case you are really sick. Because it limits the chance of you getting everybody really sick. Like if you are. I know that at first you said that you were kind of pretending and stuff and it turned out that you actually are sick. But still, like they didn't know that for sure. I know that you said that like... Uh, what is it, your commanding officer or whatever was like aware of it, but still, you know, still followed the precautions, which is nice. Kind of kept everybody safe. I kind of want to, I can learn a skill of my choice with that book. And as soon as I talk to Kane, I bet he's going to tell me like a story Good or something. Huh? Okay. Fine. How may I, help you? Uh, I want to sell you some stuff and books. I don't know if I identified that, but that's fine. Let me hit up my two things, sell that and that. I probably should have checked that. I that might be in different other places, but most people I were with were told to continue to report in unless it was really bad. It could also be that it changed after COVID too. It could just be something that was kind of more heavily enforced after that. That's what I would think. I'll go downstairs and I'll get the rest of the shit, then I'll come back up. I'm pretty sure I don't have to do anything else here in the sewers. Oh, Herodric Skull. Hmm, okay. I'm not sure what the fuck that is, but I think it's a wolf. Maybe. That's all that I got discharged almost a decade ago. Yeah, see, that's what I would imagine, is it's probably just different procedures now. Probably like more strict quarantine kind of things, you know? Alright, I'm okay with spending an extra town portal on going back up. I'm okay with that. Alright. So, I think I've still got a couple of things. Oh, now he wants but to talk to me. Ah, the lost Herodric scroll. What a fortunate turn of events. As the last living Herodrim, I alone have knowledge of its meaning. Now, to read the Herodric runes it bears. Hmm. The Herodric mages. After binding Bale within Talrasha, magically sealed off his burial chamber from the mortal realm. Those same mages also crafted fearsome Herodric staves and imbued them with the special power to open the chamber's hidden door. After nearly losing one to the thievery of a rogue sorcerer, they divided all the Herodric staves into two parts, wooden shaft and metal headpiece hiding them separately to safeguard them. The Herodrum foresaw our current plight and designed the hiding places to reveal themselves to worthy heroes like you. Collect both parts of a Herodric staff and unite them using a Herodric cube. Then you may enter Tal Rosh's burial chamber. Aw, oh, man. The old fucking staffs and... Aw, oh, man. Ah, uh, some heavy nostalgia right there. I said that they did that. They did this here because once one guy got sick and it wasn't serious, so they kept him with others and everybody got really sick. Yeah. No, it can it can happen really quickly. I've had at least one instance in my life so far where I got like really sick out of the blue. Like really fucking sick out of the blue. Um Nick came home one day. And he was like, oh, I don't feel so well. And I'm like, that's fine, you know. 
um, there was a lot going on with work and his boss had finally just got back from like New South Wales branch and stuff and and you know to be expected there was a lot happening so I figured he was just under the weather and I'm like that's fine you know if you feel a bit sick whatever I'll just sleep in like a spare room that way you can have like I don't have to worry about catching whatever you've got if you are sick and you get a good night's sleep right and so anyway I slept in the spare room and I woke up and I felt like really rough like really really shit sleep and I'm like oh man it's probably just because like I was in the spare room and I had like the pollen from outside because I don't have an air conditioner in there so I'm like I probably just like I probably just smelt pollen all night from the window and I'm probably just like a bit hay fevery kind of thing and by that morning Nick was like real sick like really fucking sick and I'm like oh well well I've still got to go to work like I was the only person at my job that could do my job. Um, I'm not saying that I was like some Hail Mary person that could only do my job. No, I was the only person trained in this particular thing. So if I take a day off, everything falls behind in that department. So I kind of couldn't. And uh, so I went to work and yeah, um, I just got progressively sicker throughout the day. And I was like, maybe it's not that. And by the time I came home, I was so fucking ill. And Nick was like fucking seriously ill and then I got news like the next day because I ended up calling in sick one of the rare fucking times when I did and pretty much my entire office and Nick's entire office was sick too basically everybody went down from whatever the fuck that was and all we could think of is that Nick's boss caught it in the airport and brought it back to the office and then shared it between our two places of employment and basically everybody's partners shared it out to everybody's workplaces and that was they say that the taste of vengeance is bittersweet, but I find it to my liking. In addition to my undying gratitude, I have spoken on your behalf with the rest of the townspeople. The merchants have agreed to show their gratitude by offering their wares and services at lower rates. Oh, Jerry wants to see you too. You'll find him in front of the palace. You know, I hadn't noticed anything being particularly dearer. But that's just unawareness. All right. Yeah. So Herodric staff. Ah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go say hello to Jared. As I was told, they had to lock him up with all the commanders so it doesn't spread to the other platoons. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. I think by the time you know everybody's kind of sick. Uh. Jesus, mate, just teleport. I have heard of your many deeds of skill and bravery. I feel I can trust you with something I have been. Hesitant to speak of. Drognan and I have concluded that the Dark Wanderer who passed through here recently was Diablo himself. Drognan believes that Diablo is searching the desert for the secret tomb where the great Horadric mage, Talrasha, keeps Bale imprisoned. You must find Diablo and put an end to the terrible evil that has fallen upon our city. Drognan is wise and is sure to have some helpful advice for you as to how Talrasha's tomb may be found. It may take you quite some time to find the tomb. May you be ready when you do. That was my knuckles out of interest. I was just like trying to stretch and I just crunch. All right. Yeah, so this is kind of like the first real like hint that that is the Wanderer is actually Diablo and that basically everything that's been happening is because he's literally just walked through here. And he's just gone out into the desert. Like, basically, the idea is, I've just arrived. Literally, the night or two beforehand, he's walked into town and then walked out into desert before I arrived. That's how it's supposed to have happened. The interesting thing is, he didn't have Warriv kind of, like, taken to the east. So he had to spend all that time walking. So basically, the entire rogue encampment thing was him being a couple of days ahead of me. But the traveling in the desert versus me and Warriv was basically so much faster it allowed me to kind of like catch up but I do kind of feel like the third place what the fuck was it called again so okay anyway that place um Kajet, I think it is I don't know probably butchered it again um you, that's the only time you literally see him walking out into the wilderness and I couldn't I couldn't fucking believe it when I was younger I'm like oh my god Oh my god, I'm like, he's right there and he like gets away from you kind of thing. That's how close you get to him. Things are getting worse by the hour. I know everything looks fine, but trust me, it isn't. Now here I am, gasbagging. 
Jeez. Portrayed in magic and the like. See Drognan or Lysander. I think I already heard that. I heard about the ma merchants. I heard about all this. So I still can't go in. <laughs> no, I can't go in yet. Oh, that's pretty. Find Rush's tomb. Yeah, right. Look, I'll try. I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of fake ones out there. So I think I've got all my shit on me. I don't think I have anything in my inventory. I should get better stuff actually before I go out. I should go talk to the merchants. And did I say hello to you? I'm pretty sure I did. Greetings. I feel like you're the one that's supposed to be deaf. Because it's a play on his name, it's Lysander. When Talrasha chose to embody the spirit of Bear, he knew his doom was to wrestle eternally against the will of the greater evil. Look around you and ask yourself, has the battle been won or lost? You say that, and I'm, I'm just standing in front of you in like the worst kit of armor. So, let's see what else I can get. Because obviously there's one person in this town I'm pretty sure I can play gamble with. But right now, what is it requiring strength? <laughs> this is where if I was skilling up my person properly, I would have the right stats for this to be able to wear any of this. But I don't. Um, I can wear that. That thing's terrible. That thing's not too bad. That's like 47 defense. Which is still substantially better than that. Which is enhanced defense, by the way. This is 67 plus 10 to life. That's actually not too bad. I got money, so I might as well spend it. I didn't even see that, but that's fine. This is still better. So get me some armor. I might slap that on the other. Oh, gold. Oh, that's looking better. No, no, no. I'm not done. T I'm not done buying shit. Um, helmets. Please give me something better than the skull cap. It is 13. I should honestly take a look around when I'm buying shit, but who's got time for that? Fast hit recovery. Plus hit recovery could help. That's a defense 31. Enhanced defense, increased maximum durability. Yeah, no, honestly, that gives me more defense and stuff, but what sort of point? I will hydrate. Thank you, Rin. I feel like you're keeping me as hydrated as you are being with the, uh, the IV bag. Also, tell me if this is, like, just a me thing, but... Whenever I get an IV bag, and I'm well aware this is too much information, I don't care. Look, whenever I get an IV bag, I immediately need to pee like fucking crazy. And let me know if anybody else experiences that. Because, like, yeah, I, there's nothing you can do when you're getting an IV bag. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Because, like, they're pumping you through a full of fucking liquid, right? So your body's just like, oh, man, I, I got to go to the toilet. But you can't actually fucking go to the toilet because it's just your veins are hydrated. It's not actually your bladder. It's very frustrating and it's uncomfortable because you sit there like, man, I need to go to the toilet, but you can't. I don't know. That's at least something that I experience whenever I like have to get an IV bag. One of those things where the good thing is because I've got Crohn's, usually if I'm at hospital, it's something related to that. So I normally get some kind of like even in public I get some kind of like bathroom privilege to have like a room that has a bathroom with me so I can normally like access it as I need it which isn't too bad but when you're on a fucking IV you just feel like you gotta sit on the toilet to compensate for the amount of fucking liquid that they're pumping into you and it doesn't work that way like logically it should but it doesn't work that way it doesn't work that fast I should say let's see 16 versus 31 I'd say I don't think the advanced thing is that great but I'll take it be fine let's see if she can wear any of this stuff I say every single time yeah you're getting three bags a day I'm sure you're gonna be excessively hydrated like your skin will have the most elasticity it's ever had in its entire fucking life I'll say that much right now uh yeah extra strength might be better instead of like just nothing get some metal armor on me let's see enhanced defense versus that yeah I still think this is better my march but it's a little bit better i don't think she wears gloves so this is like a defense of five versus a defense of four but this does enhanced defense strength maximum stamina fire resistance attacks takes one damage repairs durability i would kind of rather wait to get a better belt even though that would give me an extra slot that would give me should give me an extra row but i'll find one i will find one out in the desert but i already know from experience that I'll walk out there with the shit that I'm wearing and I'll basically get bitch slapped to the ground like I don't know and I'll just be sitting there like what did I even do 
see if I can find yeah her stuff. Her inventory was my inventory. Uh no, bring that back. Hold up. There we go. I can't see it from behind my thing, so I've actually got to manually look for it. But yeah, this should give her better defense. I'll put that to good use. And yeah, this will be a bit better I'll for put her that too. To good use. I should actually see. Did I sell my other bow? I bet I did. Yeah, I did. No, I'm using it. That's right. I should have probably given her the other bow. So which one does what? 13, 14, this one does 7, 22, this one's main one. Alright, yeah, I probably should have given her the extra bow. She's going to start dying now, but that's okay. We've got something. I can get those out and just make sure everything's repaired and that. There we go. Alright, we're good to go out into the desert now. I'm pretty sure that's where I've got to go. I'm pretty sure. Either way, I'm going out into the desert. Me and my gold ass armor. I'll walk out here and I'll have some cat person like fucking run at me. Come here, scorpion. I'm gonna squishy you. You can only squishy them when they're running, by the way. So when they stop, you can't fucking get them. Come here, you bastard. Won't let me. I know I can. Oh, shit. What the fuck are these things? They're like dragon fucking types. Carrion bird. And they look so much cooler. I, I just never. Oh, that's right. You can't hit them when they're flying. Yeah, when they look like this, like I just thought they were more like just a vulture, but now in the full size. Also, let me squish one of these fucking things. I also like that they attract to whatever you're doing. So the only problem with being out here is that I'm gonna want to explore the entire fucking place. What are you? Flame heart of the witch. Yeah, all right. Well, shit. Oh. I need mana. Oh, what are these things? I like these things too. I like and I hate them. I need mana. I like the noise that they make. I don't specifically think that they're cute, like the uh, quill beast, but I think that the noise that they make is pretty cute. Fucking die. Yeah, it's the, it's the higher pitch noise that they make. Now let's get all of this edge here. I'll try to get most of the edge of this place because it will show up where the extra pathways are. There should be one down this way, the slinger. There should be, whoop, shit, fuck. Mm. I also haven't noticed any particular like loose rocks or anything just yet. Maybe that's to come. I don't know. I definitely, I can pretty much envision what you're going through at the hospital at the moment, Ren. It like brings me back memories of like just a couple of years ago. Well, pretty much at least probably once a year I end up in hospital on an IV bag. Uh, I was really fucking surprised that that didn't actually happen during summer. Um, in amongst like all of the like really hot temperature and like dehydration issues that I had. Um, but yeah, it generally happens probably once a year. Usually whenever I actually end up getting sick. Which I actually didn't get sick last year, surprisingly. I didn't catch a cold or anything. It was really weird. So usually I get sick like once or twice a year. And pretty much since I started streaming, since I'm home all the time, and I'm not actually like interacting with much of the public, um, and especially like I, I do have to call out the fact that I used to have co-workers that were like, oh, my, my kid's sick, I'm going to bring it into the office. And it's like, please don't. Um, you got an immunocompromised co-worker, please don't. Um, yeah, since that kind of stuff stopped, I definitely aren't, I'm not getting sick as much. I gotta admit, there's some jobs out there where, like, I don't know, people are able to bring their kid to work and it's probably a little less pressure on them and stuff and that's great. But also just being mindful of if, like, your co-worker has got like medical conditions that could be fucking life-threatening if they catch something. I need mana. I do need mana, but I don't think... If I swap over to that, it will give me enough lower mana hits at the moment. I should be able to hit you guys. Yeah. Nice. Alright, well I can run with this for a couple of minutes. It's not going to hit as hard. The fuck is this? Oh yeah, Stony Tomb. Don't run in there. Jesus Christ, she was so keen to go in there. Oh, they all took flight. Come on. I need mana. Uh, tell you what, I don't have mana. I'm, I'm working on that. None of these bastards are dropping it, not I notice. Mana. Also, the fuck did I hit you with? That was a magic arrow, not a fucking poison bullet. Come on, you can land. Alright, between me and her, we mana. can kind of kill it. I don't have any in my inventory. 
Maybe? I do not. I have an unidentified ring. That ain't helping me. I got poison antidote. That ain't helping me. I don't need that. I just drank that. It's fine. I can help. All right, I'll probably have to go back into town. I'm not that far away, but fuck walking. I'm not gonna walk back to town. Plus, where else is where else is YouTube going to get its thumbnails from later? Greetings. You know, it's like black loading screen with the dwarf, like flash banging people. If anybody missed that earlier, it's basically when I edit my videos and put them on YouTube later down the track. Um, YouTube tends to really like the particular loading screen between, um, everything. Like, it's the choice that I've got. So, I like to have a little complaint about it. Also, I'm using up mana now real fast. I don't think I was selling off mana before at all. But I'm back up to having almost three whole rows of this. And I've almost got two rows of fucking, uh, rejuvenation going which I'm going to have to switch to my second one being Rejuvenation soon because I'm using up mana too quickly. Which honestly that happens. Let's swap back over. I love how she's just having a full on fucking cry. But I don't know if you guys noticed that, but yeah, when she's like, um, what do you call it? The, the other lady in town. Oh, jug. Oh yeah, I can break that. Fuck yeah. I remember being able to break things with an arrow though. Maybe down the line I can. Mate, what are you even doing? What is that? Is that another jug? No, I can't break him with this. Are yeah, you guys with your full on fucking armor? If I hadn't have increased my shit before walking out here. Another antidote potion. Yeah, so in the desert of. I guess outside Loot Lane is I used to get kind of lost a lot and I wasn't doing anything specific to get lost like what the fuck is that light coming from not enough mana yeah no I've already established that let me change over maybe I can do some more damage yeah I don't know it used to just be that yeah I know look I've got a little bit I don't want to use it just yet I could kill the thing yeah so I kind of like figure if I go around and I map out the entire place, maybe I won't get as lost this time. I can hear those things. Yeah, these things. I like them, but they fucking dodge really easily. I'm gonna have to probably swap back to having a javelin at this rate. Alright, hit me up with my mana. Get that fucking drunk. I was gonna say get that licked, but we've had the conversations going places already tonight. It would also help if I was actually like shooting them accurately. Oh, skull cap. Get you guys. And maybe even you two while you're down. So I think she casts that and get the one at the back. They're also not dropping anything either. So this is also where it becomes really important to have basically all the shit that I've got beforehand. That's a passageway. So all the shit that I've already gotten, by the way, nice dinosaur. Um, happens to like help with replenishing all the shit that I'm gonna buy from this place. Like, I'm gonna buy so many mana potions, it's gonna make me wish that I hadn't sold a single fucking one on the other like rogue encampment. Uh, yeah, let's keep going. I'm at shrine, that's gonna help me. It's supposed to make me ready for battle. Oh, yeah, I think it buffs that, maybe. Wait, no, it's just my mana and stuff going up. Fine. The dead corpses. These guys are supposed to look like my helper, but I don't have one of those yet. This also shows me that we're going up and around a corner. Down here could be a big passageway up or down. Sometimes they have like big ramps. I will get out here and like basically clear out everyone. Fuck and back off. You see the speed that thing came in? Yeah, no, I know. Whoa, shit, that ain't the button. <laughs> That's not the button. It's fine. I heard a skull get dropped though. Let me swap over my attack, would ya? There we go. Give me that, give me that. Let's go back. I need mana. I'm gonna need to start buying mana. For real. At least when I come back into town, my shit Stay doesn't like. It is enough <sighs> to serve you. You know, this thing? At least that doesn't go away. So, studded armor is kind of what I was expecting to kind of go up to. I kind of fully just skipped that. 
like 24, 34, and I just moved straight up to 67. Like, I went fuck everything lower than that and just went places. Um, let's see, Cruise Spike Shield. I'm thinking, oh, well, that's flawed. Oh, that looks cool. Wait a minute, the other one I've got must be perfect then. If that's the case. I'm going for arrows. They're dwindling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That must be... Is it just crack skull? Skull. I've got a perfect skull from Indariel, I think that was. This is too bad. You don't tend to get, like, a good one for a while. Yeah, flawed skull looks awesome. It just looks like it's fully shattered, but it's still together. All right. So I'm going to start bringing in rejuvenation. See how that works out in the field. Because I think... I don't tend to use up health that much. I do tend to use up the, um... Oh, what do you call it? Mana. Real bad. Let's sell that. Cool beans. Alright. I'm gonna need to start buying arrows and shit too. Yeah, this chick. Fucking, what's her name? Atma. Yeah. I thought everybody was talking about her, but I think they're actually talking about Fava. Fara? Whatever her name is. Fuck if I know. Terrible with names. I think you guys might have noticed that over time. Usually when, you know, a new face comes in and I just full on hardcore butcher it as if like it wasn't even in English. Like to be fair, to be absolutely fair, I'm not saying everybody comes in with an English fucking name either. So it's it's kind of okay. I, I do just butcher things. Um Alright. This is pretty much all the way back around here. So apart from this corner here, which I don't know how I missed it. There we go. Oh, she stood on it. Why can't I? You get to stand on the fucking scorpions and I don't. Rip. I want to stand on a scorpion. Not for real. I just, you know. Like these ones are squishied, aren't they? No, they're not. They're moving. Oh, I squished one. Woo. There we go. I got the squishes on. I've been meaning to squish some fucking scorpions since I got here. And I told you they can only be done when they're walking. Like when they're moving like that, you can squish them. But if they stop... For some reason, they become like invulnerable. Uh, there's a well here? Yeah, healing shrine. Alright, so this is pretty much at the point where I can kind of just do a semi sweeping run across here and eradicate whatever's in the area. You guys. I already know where another area is, and there is a tomb in this area, which won't be where I'm going. But if I just run straight down, there's another one. How did I miss you? There you go. That didn't miss you that time. You Not took that like a fucking champ. Well. Oh wait. Wait, I need more mana. There we go. Oh man, that time it depleted. Skeleton? Alright. I forgot that they have these giant heads out here for like no reason. Does anybody actually know if there's a reason to them? Like is there some kind of like deep-seated lore in Diablo or something for like the giant head statues? Wait a minute, I need to destroy these first. Fucking you. There we go. I got you with that one, you bastard. These things are so fucking hard to kill. But I love the sound of them. They're amazing. I can hear you, you prick. There we go. Oh, wow. Fucking dude's running around with a fucking flawed amethyst. Let me get that. I'm going like slightly further over every time. It's fine. I found an inner wall. 